Greetings, welcome to the help video that goes with this problem. Okay, heights of 10 year olds, regardless of gender, closely follow a normal distribution with a mean of 55 inches and a standard deviation of 6 inches. What is the probability that a randomly chosen 10 year old is shorter than 45 inches? Okay, as usual, when working with these normal problems, we're going to start off with a picture. So let's come down here and let's draw ourselves a standard normal bell shaped curve x-axis this time. What does it represent? It represents heights. So this is the height of our intrepid little 10 year olds, okay? So this is the height of 10 year olds. All right, we know that this distribution has got a mean of 55 inches and a standard deviation of 6 inches. So this is height of 10 year olds, by the way, we should probably put our units over here too, right? So our viewing public knows that. Okay, so they want to know what the probability that a randomly chosen 10 year old is shorter than 45 inches. So 45, well, let's see, going down by one standard deviation would be about what? Um, 49, so 45 is going to be oh, right about there, -ish, let's say. And they want to know what is the probability of a randomly chose uh, 10 year old being shorter than that. Okay, so here's 45 inches. And so what they want from us is they want this area down here. Because remember that area represents that proportion. They gave me a value on the axes and we want the corresponding proportion of values that fall, in this case, below that. So our question is, what is that area right there? So that means I'm going to normal CDF. If I'm looking for a proportion or for a probability, I'm going to use NCDF. So I'm going to go from what, negative E99 to 45 to 55 to 6, okay? All right, so let's go get our calculator out and let's see what that looks like. So let's see. I'm going to go second distribution, option number two for normal CDF. Lower end point is at negative E99. Our upper end point, let's see, what was it again that we were looking for? We were, let's slide it over here, short, oh, shorter than 45 inches. Okay, so we're going to put a 45 in. And then our standard deviation, excuse me, our mean in our standard deviation is going to be 55 and 6, respectfully. Go ahead and paste that command. Hit and enter, and bada bing, bada boom, we've only got about what? Oh, 4.8% of the kids are less than that height. So this is equal to 4.8%. Okay? So the probability of randomly selecting a 10 year old and having them being less than 45 inches is pretty rare. It's about 4.8% of the time you're going to find that happen. Okay, let's do another one with the same problem situation. In other words, we're still talking about 10 year olds, all right? So this time, we want to find the probability that a randomly chosen 10 year old is between 59 and 66 inches. Okay, so again, start off by drawing yourself a picture. Trust me, you'll find these problems so much easier if you draw the picture every time. Okay, we defined X in the previous problem. We know that that's the height of a randomly chosen 10 year old, okay? So we know again that the mean right here, down, remember the mean splits it in half, okay? So we know that that mean right there is again equal to 55 and the standard deviation is equal to 6, okay? So we want to know between 59 and 66 inches. Well, this is at 55 and so 59 yeah, about there-ish, 66 about there-ish, right? So this is at 59 on the axes, this is at 66 on the axes. And what we want to know is the area trapped between those values. We want to know this area in here, okay? So finding that area means that we're going to have to use norm CDF. So let's go get our calculator out. So we're going to go norm CDF. Well, actually, let's, let's take a moment here. My bad, bad. Let's go ahead and write the command down. It always makes it a lot easier, I think, getting in the calculator if you do that first. So and CDF. Left end point is going to be 59, right end point is going to be 66, the mean is 55, the standard deviation is 6. Okay, so now let's go put that in the calculator. <clears throat> Get the calculator to come up here, there we go. 
Okay, so let's clear out our last problem here. It's going to go second distribution, number two for NCDF. Our lower endpoint is 59. Our upper endpoint is 66. Our mean is 55. Our standard deviation is 6. We'll paste that command back out to the home screen and we'll run it. And it looks like about 21.9% of the kids are in that interval. So 21.9% of the kids are between 59 inches and 66 inches. So um, just, just as an aside, these, these distribution, these sort of problems are useful for people like clothes manufacturers, uh, shoe manufacturers, people like that, that need to know, hey, you know, where, how many do we need to make of each different size so that we have enough that we're actually hopefully going to sell them all. You know, <laughs> we don't want to make too many of them, but we don't, we want to make enough that we're going to make money. Okay, let's do another one. So next one here says you got the height of 10 year olds regardless of gender closely follows the normal distribution with mean 55 standard deviation of six. Always a good idea to check that, okay? What's the probability that a randomly selected 10 year old is between 59, that's wait, same problem. Let's get the right problem up here. There we go, okay. If the tallest 5% of the class is considered very tall, what is the height cutoff for very tall? Okay, keyword, we've talked about this in a previous video that when you see cutoff, what that means is that now they're looking for a position on the axes given an area. So in other words, they're giving you an area they want back a height this time. So again, remember that your x-axis here represents the heights, where the mean here is at 55, and the standard deviation is at 6. We want to know what is this value right here on the axes, so that this area right here is 5%. In other words, it gave us the area in the upper tail, is very tall, which means it's going to be above us, right? Very tall. Tall is that way on the distribution, right? Okay, so to figure that out, we're going to use INV norm or inverse norm. So INV norm, and then I got to put in the area from the left. So I can't put in 5%. I got to put in what? 95%. So I'm going to put in 0.95 put in a mean of 55 and a standard deviation of 6. Okay, so let's go get the calculator out and let's do that. So I'm going to go into the calculator here and I'm going to go second VARS and I'm going to go down into INV norm which is option number 3. I'm going to put an area in of 0.95, put in my mean of 55, put in my standard deviation of 6. Paste that command, execute that command, and we get a height of 64.7 inches roughly. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the picture what this meant, or finish drawing our picture I should say. So we know, or get the right thing, here we go, we know, one more time back to the calculator, that it was what, 64 0.9 inches will go out just one decimal place this time. Be sure and read the instructions carefully in the problem. So a lot of times people get the answer wrong simply because they don't input the decimal places to what they requested. Make sure you read those carefully, okay? All right, so one more time. I'll go check my calculator one time because I can't seem to remember the number. 64.9, there we go. Remember, that's in inches, okay? That's not a probability, that's in inches here. So this, this number right here on the axes was 64.9, okay? All righty then, so let's do one more of these. So the height requirement for the Batman ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain is 54 inches. What proportion of 10 year olds cannot go on this ride, okay? So as with most of these problems, it's very important that we read carefully what they want from us. Okay, so as usual, we shall draw the picture that represents it, the normal distribution, where we you know we got the mean here of 55, and we got the standard deviation equal to 6, and this is the x-axis, which we know represents the heights. Okay, 
So we want to know what proportion of 10-year-olds cannot go in that height, which means they got to be shorter than 54 inches, right? So here's 55 inches. Six down is one standard deviation over here, which would be 49 inches. So 54 inches is going to be roughly about there. So it looks like most 10-year-olds don't get to go in this right, because remember that that's 50% by the time we get to 55. So it's going to be a fairly large chunk of 10-year-olds are t still too short, oh, and they are so bummed, to go on this ride, right? Remember this cutoff point right here is 54. They gave that to us in the problem. And what we want to know is what is that area this time? Okay, so that's going to be what? That's going to be norm CDF. Our left end point is going to be negative E99. Our right end point is going to be 54. Our mean is 55. Our standard deviation is 6. Okay, let's go get the calculator out and let's go do that. So that says, clear all this out here. We're going to go second vars number 2 for normal. Go negative E99. Let's see, and our upper this time was 54. Our mean was 55. Our standard deviation was 6, and then we do a paste, and we get back 43% roughly. 43% <laughs> of really bumped 10-year-olds, okay? So that's equal to 43 point, it was 43.3 if I recall correctly. Let's go take a peek at it. Yeah, 43 point, uh, 43.4, excuse me, round off correctly, Mike. So 43.4%. So that area was 43.4%. Now keep in mind, that's a percentage. That tells you what percentage of the poor little 10-year-olds don't get to go on the ride. Okay, well, hopefully you found that useful. Again, if you have any questions, do not be shy about posting to the Q&A form, or you can send me a message directly, and I can post back up to the Q&A form.